So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's week, we're actually going to do a mini-series. I saw this visualization on Twitter and I thought that it was actually quite a clever way to visualize. They, they are visualizing the number of fires in the Amazon. I don't think it's for the last few years that we're going to do, but I think it's visually visualizing from February 2019 to January 2020. That's what I can kind of see on the chart. But the use of the rose chart to do that, I thought it was quite clever. We will talk about rose chart slash visualizations later on. But what we're going to do this week is, today we're going to get the data. Not exactly his data because I couldn't find it, but something similar. Then we're going to do a charticulator rose chart because you can't do this in Power BI. And I'm doing it on my second channel. The reason for that is because you can do it on other things than Power BI. Use charticulator on elsewhere and then we're going to do on Wednesday the visualization we're going to import the charticulator rose chart in Parvi and we're going to visualize the data we're also going to talk about the actual visualization itself what it means is it accurate to publish it like that we will talk around visualization techniques anyhow today we're going to clean the data and model it so we're ready for the charticulator chart let's get started Okay, so he used Modis Firms, which, which is a, like a website that tracks or organization that tracks all fires on Earth through satellite. And uh, I couldn't really find his data set. So what I did is went to Kaggle and picked this. Uh, I'm going to link, post the link down below so you can follow along. So it's the Brazilian Amazon Rainforest Degradation 1999-2019. And there are a few data sets here. You have the actual fires, the number of fire outbreaks by state, month and year. And then we have um, the, the actual deforestation area, which is super interesting. And then we have another one about the severity of two of the most important climatic phenomena. So you have a few things. The, the idea of this is that you should investigate if Amazon degradation is a thing or not. So... Let's get this data into Power BI. Um, what you're going to do is you're, you're going to get a CSV. So you will download a CSV. Uh, here we have it. And we are going to clean this up so it fits our needs. Now, you have year, month, the state, the latitude and longitude of where the fire happened and then the fire the number of fires on that location. Um, here's the thing. I don't want to do a dot plot on a map of where all the fires happen. I just want to put everything together as the person that created the chart, I don't know who did it, you know, in one location. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate this into two tables. We're going to have one table that contains all the facts, which means the number of fires by location and year. We're going to summarize it by year, I don't want to have it by month. And then we're going to have another table where we're going to have the location, but just one point. We, I don't need all the points, I just need to know a point in the Amazon, a point in Mato Grosso, a point in... Uh. Okay, so let's rename these. This is our fires table. This is the table that is going to com contain the number of fires per year. And then we're going to duplicate it, and here's where we're going to get the location. And again, I'm just going to put place a point in the Amazon, so it doesn't matter where. You could probably go to Google Maps and pick the capital of the Amazon or something and point it there. I don't care. Just that it's around the area, <laughs> basically. So for that, we're going to just grab, we're on the location table, we're going to grab the location data, and we're going to remove the other columns. And then I'm going to remove duplicates by state only. So it's going to give me just one latitude and longitude of one point in the Amazons, in Mato Grosso, in Para, okay? And with that, we have our location table done. And then we go to fires. We don't want latitude and longitude anymore. We don't need that. We have a location table that is going to be connected by state. And what we have here is the year and month and fire post. I don't want year and month. It will, it, the, the rose chart would be, I have too many petals. It doesn't work. I want to have it by year. So we need to group this and to group the data, we're actually, you could do it in 
uh, tags, obviously, but I prefer to do this, especially because there's not a lot of data and I'm not never going to use the month data in Power Query, okay? So what we're going to do is to group. We're going to group by uh, the year and the location, state, and then we're going to sum fire spot fire spot no fires now they are not spots anymore so fires and this is you're going to sum the number of fire spots so it's going to aggregate our table and now we have by year by state the number of fires not by month anymore and i don't want to have all these years i just want to have the last five years I think that's enough. Just to see, to try to visualize the trend. Perhaps we should have one, two more. Let's pick those two. Okay. And now we go home and close and apply and let load data into Power BI. Uh, let's see here. We have a state on state, fire and location. Wonderful. So we are going to grab our map. Where is our map? In there. And then we have latitude and longitude. It's good to tag these two as, uh, where do you go, column tools. It's good to ta tag them as latitude and longitude respectively. So you tell Power BI that they are actually latitude and longitude. I mean, you've already picked it up. And now here we have, you can put the number of fires already in there. Let's do a measure. This is the sum of fires. We hide this one. Put it in the size and then the year we don't want to summarize it. Okay, so now everything is looking good. Here you have most of the fires are here. And here it is where, let's put this as a tooltip. This is Impara, Amapa, Amazons. Huh? Quite cool. Now, we want to visualize trend. So because we don't have a rose chart here, one of the things that you could do is, for example, have a, instead of a map like this, you could perhaps have a year, nothing there. Let me remove that one. You won't see anything. Okay, let us. I'm going to put year, and then I'm going to put the number of fires by year, and then you could Put it in there. And then you grab, uh, let's say, state Amazons. And this is Amazon. We need to format this a little bit. Remove the background. So here we will have the fires of the Amazons. I want to have all years. This is one of the problems with this responsive thing that the labels disappear which makes it quite hard to read why one of the reasons why the rose chart is quite a nice um, visualization for this and there you have the values one of the things that we're probably going to do like he did is i want to have the max value highlighted i'm going to show you how to do it on wednesday both for this and for the rose chart for the rose chart is going to be a bit complicated but we will talk about it later so if we could have one of these on each of the dots, it takes quite a lot of real estate, not so easy to see. So that's why I think the rose chart would be a, a, a better visualization like they did on, on the image that I show you. So we're going to go to Curval Data Labs and tomorrow I'm going to show you how to do a rose chart without any code. I'm going to post a link to the Data Labs um, 
YouTube channel in case you want to go and check it out. Otherwise, we will go on Wednesday and then use the, the chart and you are going to, I'm going to give it to you. So even if you don't want to create it to yourself, you can just download it from the Curval Download Center and get it anyway. So don't worry about that. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow with Charticulator creating these and then I will see you otherwise on Wednesday where we put this together and create a rose chart and talk about the actual visualization, what it means, can you just, we will talk about the visualization. I will see you Wednesday or tomorrow, until then take care, enjoy your week and bye bye.